All right, so I've got um, some laminate flooring here. It's like the floating laminate kind. I noticed yesterday that I have one that's like spaced out a little bit. I don't think it was like this before, but you can kind of see down there that it's 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 moved a little bit. And then this part over here, let me raise this up. This part over here just goes to a, oh, it's a dead fly over there. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, just goes to one of those like, end pieces. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to scoot this this way. Um, so get rid of the gap. And uh, let's give it a try. We're gonna start off by vacuuming it up. Let's go. Let's clean this out real good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece of uh, tape and hopefully this isn't gonna take off any of the top here. I'm gonna get a little piece of tape. And I'm just gonna do it this way because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of just hammer it to the side. So you can see it here and you got the gap there. I'm gonna kind of take this and then go, you know, hold this down, see if this works. It seems to actually be working. It moved a little bit. Um, it's got another piece though. And what's happening is this tape is actually ripping. So let's try this again. Got a little longer piece of tape. And now what I'm gonna do is just gonna hammer it to the side. And it's actually moving. You can kind of see it moving closer together here. So this isn't the best way of doing it probably, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. Let's see if it might be better to take a little piece and then hold it with my hand and not hit my finger. Let's try that. Yeah, see, the issue with it, what's happening is that it's actually just hammering right through the um, tape. But we are making progress, so let's try this again. I could just double up the tape on the part that I'm actually hitting. Rip it up again, another piece, lay it on there. The issue is the part I'm actually hitting is going through. So what if I just double back this with some of the scrap tape that I've got? And all that scrap tape, right? All that tape that I... All right, so let's try hitting it on that now. Looks like it's coming together a little bit, let's see. It's a little better. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better than that, though. All right, we're wasting a lot of tape here. We're just kind of going as we, kind of learning as we go here. Take this down nice and strong. Let's back this up with some of this leftover tape just to get this part that we're hitting from, keeping that from going off too much. Oh, see, I broke it all the way up. It's moved closer. See, the gap is a little bit less. Let's see if I can... So the tape isn't super strong. So what I could try doing, I could try doubling up. Let's see if we could try something like that. Let's see if I can do that. What if I got some tape? Ripped it. And then, since the tape keeps ripping, Another piece of tape around top of it. Make it extra strong. Let's do a third piece of tape right on top of it. Here. And now this last piece, I'll kind of wrap it up with all this stuff and hopefully it will stay. Look at that, close together. That side over there is still under that little divider, that, that little cover thing, so it's not going to make a difference. But look, fixed it. Let's see if I want to make it a little closer. I'm basically just using this as leverage and uh, push it together. Look, all done. Fixed it up. Now I can take this off carefully because I don't want to like peel off any of the. Uh, I don't know, just ruin the floors in any way. But there we go. All right, good.
See, the gap is gone. Mission accomplished.